Hi, I'm Linda Bax with NISBIS Policy Services Department. Today's mailbag question is, how does an item get on the board's agenda? First, you should know that an agenda is not legally required. The vast majority of boards, and NISBA certainly strongly recommends, having an agenda to ensure an orderly and effective process for board decision making. The question of how to get an item on the agenda is frequently posed by new board members or sometimes by district residents or staff. It is helpful to have this process addressed in writing in board policy. NISBA assigns policy number 2342 to a policy called Agenda Preparation and Dissemination. The policy should, at a minimum, address the following issues. Who is responsible for setting the agenda? Who can put an item on the agenda? And when and how is the agenda distributed? Let me say a word about each of these elements. Who is responsible for setting the agenda? Many districts charge the superintendent in consultation with the board president with this responsibility. Some include board officers in that consultation, and some choose to use a different word rather than consultation perhaps indicating that the agenda will be jointly established by the board president and the superintendent or approved by the board president. Who can put an item on the agenda? Some boards establish in policy that any board member can put an item on the agenda as long as it is in advance of the meeting. NISBA recommends setting a specific time frame to allow that to occur. When and how is the agenda distributed? Again, the policy should first designate who is responsible for carrying this out. Generally, it is the district clerk. The policy should also set the time frame for board members receiving the agenda and associated materials in advance of the meeting. Many boards establish five to seven days as the preferred time, with a caveat for emergency matters. The most important aspect of this is having the board adopt the policy on agenda setting, refer to it regularly, and ensure that it is widely understood. By doing so, the board can avoid many misunderstandings. If you would like a sample of NISBA sample policy, please contact the NISBA policy department. Thank you for watching, and if you would like your question answered, please email mailbag at nisba.org. See you next time.